Imagine the scene. The courtroom buzzes with anticipation. The former president of the United States, Donald Trump, is back in the hot seat. This isn't his first rodeo. Trump's been navigating a legal labyrinth for years now. In the heart of the maze, a probe into his business dealings by the New York Attorney General, a hefty lawsuit for $250 million looming over his empire. It's a wild chase, a relentless pursuit for truth, and the missing paperwork that's as elusive as a phantom. In this chase, Trump has stumbled, fallen, and been found in contempt, not once, not twice, but multiple times. He's been slapped with fines, reprimanded for failing to comply with subpoenas, his defense arguments dismissed like pesky flies. It's a saga, a long, drawn-out battle of wills, a contest between the formidable former president and the relentless arm of the law. But this time, the stakes are even higher. The judge's patience is wearing thin. Enter the gag order, a legal command to remain silent, intended to prevent prejudice in legal proceedings. But silence isn't Trump's strong suit. Picture this. A gag order is put in place, a legal directive meant to maintain the integrity of the courtroom. It's a command to keep mum, to hold your tongue, to zip it. But for someone as vocal as former President Donald Trump, such a directive might as well be a red cape to a bull. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. The allegations brought against Trump are not just one or two, but at least 10 violations of the gag order. These violations aren't small potatoes either. From attacks on key witnesses to calling out jurors on his Truth Social account and campaign website, Trump has shown little regard for the order's stipulations. Each violation carries a weighty fine of up to $1,000. That's a potential $10,000 for those keeping score. But it's not just about the money. Each violation chips away at the integrity of the legal process, potentially influencing the outcome of the trial and making a mockery of the justice system. The prosecution's response? They're not taking this lying down. They're calling for more than just fines. They're suggesting a warning that further violations could lead to jail time. Yes, you heard that right, jail time. The judge on the case isn't amused by these shenanigans. Patience is thinning and tolerance for these antics is dwindling. It's clear that this isn't a game and the courtroom isn't a stage for theatrics. The judge has shown little patience for these antics. A warning has been issued, but will it be heeded? Only time will tell if Trump will finally learn to hold his tongue or if his disregard for the gag order will land him in even deeper waters. Stay tuned as we delve into the final warning in the next scene. Now we're at the edge of our seats. The judge's final warning echoes in the court. Further violations could lead to jail time. The court is tense, the air is thick, and the stakes have never been higher for the former president. This stern warning, a final ultimatum, has sent ripples through the legal community. Legal experts, those seasoned veterans who've seen it all, believe that a warning is more likely than jail time. Still, the very mention of potential incarceration has shaken the narrative. But what does this mean for the man once at the helm of the free world? The implications are far-reaching and complex. It's not just about the contempt charges or the violation of a gag order. It's about the very essence of the rule of law, about accountability at the highest levels of power. Reactions have been mixed. Some see this as an overdue course correction, a clear signal that no one is above the law. Others perceive it as a political witch hunt, an attempt to tarnish the legacy of a former president. The court of public opinion is divided, mirroring the polarized political landscape of our times. As we delve deeper, we need to consider what this could mean for Trump's future legal battles, the contempt charges, the gag order violations, the stern warning from the judge, they all paint a picture of a legal labyrinth that seems to get more intricate by the day. The potential consequences are manifold, they could influence the outcome of ongoing investigations, shape the legal strategies employed by Trump's defense, and even sway public sentiment. The repercussions of this warning could echo well beyond the confines of the courtroom, impacting the very fabric of our political discourse. As the legal saga unfolds, one thing is certain. The former president's battle is far from over. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this fascinating legal drama.